Hi guys. <laughs> I'm starting my placement on Monday. It is currently Friday. I get a lot of questions. How do you organize themselves around placement and how the whole system works? So I thought I would make a quick video on my go-to supplies for placement and how I prepare myself for placement. So firstly, I am in a fellowship, which means I do most of my placements with my fellowship hospital and I get to preference what wards I want to go on for placement. Um, this placement, I am on a orthopedic ward. It's, they also do a bit of plastics and ENT and also a bit of pediatric patients as well. So I'm super excited for that. So I'm super excited to get a little bit of a taste, even if I don't have pediatric patients, it's nice to be in that same kind of environment. So firstly, after I do my ward allocation preferences and I get my ward, I um, then plan and I do a little bit of research about that ward and particular medications or procedures that I might need to know for that ward. You kind of become familiar with the terminology. I've gotten my roster, I'm on a 12 hour um, roster. So I start at 7 a.m. and finish at 7.30 p.m. So I pop those shifts into my diary, make sure I've got work off, stress free. Now I'm on a 12 hour ward, I'll be working less days of the week. So I think I might be able to squeeze in maybe one or two days a week. I found it really important to organize a meal prep. I recently started a low FODMAP diet. So I'm pretty much eating, like I literally don't even know what I'm gonna eat the next meal. I just find something in the cupboard that I can eat. Most of my meals are spaghetti bolognese or soup. But I think it's really important. You need to plan out your meals. Otherwise you're just gonna be eating absolute trash. That is not good for the nursing student on placement. So, I went, I've got this from Kmart at the start of this year. I bought it for a St. John ambulance event that I had. I was doing the Australian Open and I was doing multiple days and I was like, I need a good lunchbox. This one is super big, like that's my face and it's so cute. I think they have a couple of them in the store now. Next up, I went the other day and I got these containers from Kmart, but basically, that's one cup, that's two cups. It's for portion control, but like literally, I don't worry about my portions. I just eat what I want for meal prepping. It came in a packet of like eight or 10. So I can make up my pasta and that's ready to go. Like I can just, oh, I just got shit all over that. It's really important to plan out your meals and I am never one for meal planning. My last placements, I would just stop at 7-Eleven and get like an assortment of goods. And it's like, that is not, going to help your brain think and learn and process all this new information that is coming in. Moving on from that, this is optional obviously if headbands aren't your thing, you know. I grabbed these headbands from Lululemon. Usually I wouldn't spend that much on headbands but they were on sale and they're so comfy. I do have just this black one from like a two dollar shop. It's a bit thicker than these ones and I just find they like keep my hair together, keep me feeling you know, when you just need a bit of, <laughs> I don't know if that's me, like having sensory issues, but like, I just feel like my hair is back. I'm ready to concentrate, especially when you have a busy shift. You just want your hair out and it's just so good. I just feel Mwah. highly recommend getting yourself some headbands. Secondly, the other day I did a little haul, obviously, I think you saw it, notebooks and some mini notebooks for on the wards. These ones I will use to write down no patient identification, but details about my patients that I need to remember. I got these little notebooks because this fits perfectly in my pockets of my scrubs, but I just think that's the cutest to write little medication notes or procedure notes, um, nothing related to the patient. So I can keep these notes for future reference. And um, they were from Kmart as well. Um, another must have is like wet ones or anti-back wipe. I know on the ward, there's a lot of wipe, but I will be using this when I, you know, get to my car, when I want to wipe my hands, when I want to wipe the steering wheel down and I'll keep these on me. They're just so cute. Mm, so cute. I'll keep this in my handbag. This is hand cream. It is super, I feel like, I feel like a bloody, YouTuber. So I got this in the shade of flowers. This hand cream is jasmine and sandalwood. Um, it's so nice. Well, I get a lot of questions about this. This is my stethoscope case. I got it on eBay. I've shared the link to so many people. So many of my friends have got these now. It's a hard, it's 
hard, got zips, got a little handle. So in here, actually, oh, Jay's literally kept everything, literally everything in here. Mm, so first I've got my pens. These are the Bic Gelosity pens, but they are like a gel pen and they're so nice and love a good pen. I've got my own Ventolin. Sometimes when I'm stressed, I literally can't breathe. I'm usually on a preventer called I forgot the name of the preventer. It's handy to have one on me at all times. In here, you can't really tell. I've got another one of those little books. My stethoscope. I literally couldn't even tell you what kind of Lippmann this is. Oh, it says alright. The Lippmann Classic Number Three. My ID for Epworth. Right now, I think they're transitioning to the badge reel. Um, and then behind here, I've got. A couple of cards that I have made myself. This one has like medication prefixes. Um, then these ones are ones my lecturer gave me from Epworth. I've got my basic life support there, but really I know that stuff like the back of my hand. Like that is the one thing I'm really good at is first aid. My head to toe assessment on the front there. Nemo stickers on that as well. This thing I hear you asking is called a Snap It Ampule Opener. I'm quite confused about the whole situation where nurses are expected to open ampules with their hands because it's literally a glass container and for a health profession that is about health and safety and you know oh you can't lift a patient you need to and you have to have your feet facing the right way to move a patient but then they're like yeah open that glass ampule with your bare hands with your bare hands it's like Sometimes I do it just for the thrill. This is the little name badge I got from Little Bunny Badges. It's so cute. And I love it so much. It's literally the cutest thing ever. Um, oh, don't even get me started. Isn't that the cutest thing you have ever seen? This is my fob watch I got from um, Sister Said So. They are a Melbourne brand. Um, it is super cute. It's a rose gold with like a navy. So cute! Except I just don't know how to read a clock like this. So I'm going to have to do like practice really hard <laughs> at reading this kind of watch. Professional development. We're going to do it. My Deacon name badge. I've covered, I covered up the Deacon logo with a Finding Nemo sticker. Um, but you get the gist. Last but not least, I have a whiteboard marker in my little case because the whiteboard markers on the ward are usually shocking and if there are good ones, the students don't get them. And I'm gonna keep it on me at all times. No one else is touching this one. People are gonna judge me for this. This little combination of essential oils and it makes me concentrate so well. Like, <sighs> It's because I've associated the smell with studying this smell like puts me in that zone <laughs> i hate i hate being this person because i'm always so against so against like essential oil but this stuff is the tits <laughs> um last but not least i've got this is the case that the fob watch came in by the way i've just got my spare fob watch in there just in case um, I do switch fob watches around a lot because I have to wear them on placement to uni and then I wear a fob watch when I am with St John Ambulance. Um, so I do switch them around a lot and I have quite a lot of spares hanging around. Um, last but not least, I thought I'd share my nursing shoes as I get a lot of questions about my shoes that I wear on placement. These are the shoes that I wear, they are sketches with the laces. They are the Go Walk or something like that. They are leather, really supportive. They're just the best. They are the bomb. I am a size six, so these are really small. And it's just hit me now, like holding it. I'm like, that is a small shoe. It's worth it. You need to invest in good footwear. Otherwise your whole body is going to be affected by walking around on bad shoes every day. Just invest in good shoes. But yeah, other than that, I am, excited for placement. I'm really excited to get out onto the wards. I really appreciate everyone's support on my Instagram. Um, I'm excited to share more. Everyone going through COVID-19, like if you're studying in COVID-19, pat yourself on the back. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely week and I'm excited to share more of my placement experience with you.